Crack the code, understanding quotes and attributions in news articles. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a crucial part of understanding news articles, quotes and attributions. Understanding the way journalists use these tools can help you grasp the heart of a story more easily. Let's get started. Quotes are exact words spoken or written by someone, typically enclosed in quotation marks. Journalists use quotes to provide readers with first-hand accounts or to add credibility to the story. Attributions, on the other hand, refer to identifying the source of the quote or information. They answer the question, who said it? They're crucial for maintaining the integrity and credibility of a news article. In news articles, quotes and attributions aren't just fillers. They are essential elements that serve two primary purposes, bringing in different perspectives and providing evidence for the information presented. They also add a layer of human connection, bringing a story to life. Understanding them will help you better grasp the news article's overall message and context. So, how can we spot these elements? Look out for quotation marks that typically indicate a quote. The speaker's name usually follows the quote or appears within the sentence, accompanied by a verb such as said, stated, or reported. This is the attribution. An example could be, climate change is a critical issue, said Dr. Smith. Interpreting quotes and attributions in news articles involves more than just reading them. You should consider who is being quoted, their position or role, and how their words contribute to the story's main theme or purpose. Also, be aware that a quote doesn't always represent a universally agreed upon truth, but rather one person or group's perspective or opinion. And there we have it our guide to understanding quotes and attributions in news articles. I hope this helps you on your journey to master reading comprehension in English. Remember, reading news articles is not only about understanding the language, but also understanding its structure and how it communicates information. Keep practicing, and you'll get better over time. Until next time, happy reading!